Now, small mom-and-pop shops make up 90% of India's colossal grocery market. Some of these stores, known locally as Kirana, say they are struggling to compete with online stores and expanding supermarket chains. But as Rebe Rebecca Bundan reports from Mumbai, some others are finding a way to continue thriving. You find them all over India, on busy city streets, the tiniest of lanes in the slums, and even hard to reach rural areas. These are the small mum and pop shops or Karana stores, which still dominate the grocery retail sector in India. Karana stores account for 90% of grocery sales in the country, worth 600 billion US dollars a year, according to venture capital firm Flourish Ventures. Industry estimates peg the number of these shops nationwide at more than 12 million. Anil Jain owns a Karana store, which he has run for 35 years, meeting the grocery needs of thousands of customers in his neighborhood. But he says business has never been so tough. Online grocery stores have a certain convenience that he can't compete with, and along with expanding retail chains, they can both operate on a scale and offer big discounts that he can't match. बहुत फर्क गिर रहा है ऑनलाइन से सबसे ज्यादा बिजनेस में हमारा फर्क गिर गया है कि एक तो कुछ भी भाव एक डिलीवरी कितना भी होता है वो लोग डिलीवरी ऑनलाइन करवा देते These large chains are growing. Reliance Industries, one of the country's biggest conglomerates, owned by India's richest person, Mikesh Ambani, has a grocery chain called Fresh, which has more than 700 stores. On top of that, Reliance also has a franchise deal with the multinational 7-Eleven, and there are plans to expand these convenience stores to 100 cities across India. Online grocery shopping is also picking up in the country. Key players, Amazon, Big Basket, which is owned by another Indian giant Tata, and Reliance's Geomart have won over consumers with various offers. I mostly prefer Amazon. Most of the items also they provide good discount, like 40% off, flat 40% off, 50% off. So that's why. And if you use some cards like credit cards or other cards, so they provide uh, discounts in cards also. Okay, अभी कैसे कि छोटी मोटी कुछ चीजें तो पांच दस रुपए की हम लोग यहाँ से ले लेते हैं। Otherwise जैसे Dmart कैसे buy one get one free देते, other other अलग अलग scheme देते। तो हिसाब से आज की महंगाई के हिसाब से हम लोग कोई भी जो भी customer है वो Dmart को prefer करते हैं। Naral Darod is trying to keep up with the competition by modernizing the appearance of his shop and providing his customers a wide range of products. Today I have about 4,500 SKUs in my shop, which is why I don't have a problem in running a business. Otherwise, it would be a big problem for me, for my survival. Like many Karana stores, he also offers credit to his regular customers. And now they can send the shop their orders via WhatsApp and get them delivered. Karana stores are increasingly embracing technology, and analysts say this could be crucial to their survival. But equally, given their existing dominance in the grocery sector, they are not just competitors for the corporates, but partners as well. Geomart allows customers to place orders via its platform and pick it up from their local Karana. And Amazon has an initiative called Local Shops, which allows Karana stores to sell through its site. Kirana stores have also recognized that modern retail plays an important role in certain aspects. Uh, modern retailers have also recognized the virtues of Kirana stores, especially in the COVID times. And uh, now you are seeing more uh, acceptance of both uh, to coexist in the company of each other. Mr. Bison explains there will always be pressure on any Indian government to protect small businesses. So these Kiranas will remain an intrinsic part of India's retail landscape. So we don't see a America a kind of a story to unfold where the Walmarts of the world just pushed out the mom and pop stores and they created scale. That's not going to happen in India. Still, not every Karana will survive this battle. Mr. Jain, for one, says he's barely turning a profit. And he's worried that his business is nearing its expiry date. Rebecca Bunsen, CNA, Mumbai.